Hi, I'm Maria, and I thought I'd take a moment to show off my new kitchen. Uh, let's do a tour. So here's a big look at my new kitchen. It's not 100% done yet, but it's pretty darn close. Um, in the front here, you'll see my breakfast bar, and I bought three stools. I've assembled two of them so far. This is my breakfast bar where I suspect I'll be doing most of my eating and with friends if they come by. It's going to be a good hanging out place. A lot of people advised me to get more comfortable chairs with backs and you know, I'm, I'm hearing you, but I needed stools right away and I wasn't about to go searching for them. There's limited options here in Wenatchee area. So I wound up ordering these very inexpensive stools through amazon.com. They're nice and sturdy, they look fine, and in the future I can always use them elsewhere, maybe out on the deck or down in my shop, something like that. Uh, this is basically something I needed right away. Another thing that's kind of weird here is you see one pendant lamp. It's looking kind of lonely. Um, there's actually going to be three. They're going to hang from this track up here, it's track lighting. And I did just recently buy the other two lamps. They were out of stock and I just got the other two. Um, unfortunately, I need to be able to hang them and then adjust the heights so that they all hang approximately the same height. And they will be higher than this. Right now, this is about just slightly lower than my head, probably about five feet off the ground, uh, way too low. It'll probably go up another maybe two feet. Uh, so that'll be quite a challenge, getting the three lamps hung at the same height when the ceiling uh, that they're hanging from is at an angle. Well, wish me luck on that. The countertops are granite and they're just nicely cleaned off this morning. Nice reflections. Um, I've got an electric stove. It's a glass top stove. It's a convection oven, which I didn't really know until I got it. And it's very cool. I've been using it um, quite a bit lately. I need to get used to it after two years of basically using an RV oven. So there's a lot of adjusting I have to do on that. So I have uh, finally a dishwasher. I've got uh, my old canisters from my old place. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep them or use them. I probably am not. So they're just kind of sitting there uh, decoratively right now. And I also brought the utensil rack from my old place. And I've hung it here, but I'm starting to think that maybe I should hang it on the other side uh, near my knife block. The knife block is also new. There's my coffee maker, which is, I've been using the same coffee maker now, uh, not the same exact one because they don't last forever, but I've probably used, been using a coffee maker like that for about um, maybe 10, 15 years. They make one cup at a time, nice fresh coffee all the time. Those are the dog biscuits I made for my dog the other day. My microwave is on a shelf. Um, it's working. Um, I'm not excited about it, but yet it does the job and it's remarkably spacious on the inside. I don't know if it's worth opening it for you. Anyway, I've got a cover in there that I use, but it's pretty spacious in there. I should be able to make uh, just about anything I need. I've organized my cabinets to store all of my dishes and glasses and whatnot. I'm not going to open them all, but you can see I bought some new glasses and I've got some stemware up there. I'm going to get some new stemware. Um, most of what was back at my old house was broken, so I didn't take very much of it. Uh, there used to be a service for eight back there, but over time they all broke. Um, these are my old dishes. They fit nicely in here. And right now I've just got a bunch of serving plates up here, which I'll probably move. These shelves at the end were, are for decorative items, mostly my teapots. I seem to be missing one of them. I don't remember if I gave it away or not. I gave away an awful lot of stuff. And then down here, these shelves will be for my cookbooks. Um, I need a stepladder, so I'll probably be storing it here. I don't think I'm going to bother with a hook. And that's where Penny's dishes go. Uh, the reason I need a step ladder is that my cabinets are really tall and um, the ceiling goes what, quite a bit up behind it. I should mention here also that I did install uh, over cabinet lighting. Just turn that on. And I've got some silk plants that'll go up there as well and that'll help dampen a little bit of an echo that you might hear in here. There's going to be under cabinet lighting as well. I just haven't installed it yet. When I did the electricity though, I did 
create a double light switch here and that basically controls an outlet up top so this will be for the top lights this will be for the bottom I could use them individually if I like that's where I got a little bit fancy um, the sink is supposedly composite granite mm, I think that's bullshit um, I think it's mostly fiberglass and maybe they threw a teaspoon of granite in there to make it look fancy and be able to say composite granite it's a nice sink um, I'm not exactly thrilled with it, I'm uh, the way it looks, but I do love the size, it's enormous. And the faucet, I got a nice Delta faucet that comes out and it has a spray on it. Uh, very simple mounting, one, just one thing. And then of course a soap dispenser, so that's nice. The other thing here that's unusual is, I saw this at a friend's house, and it's basically a drawer, a cabinet turned into a drawer, and that has in it my garbage and recycling bins. And because the cabinet doesn't have a drawer up top, and there's a long story behind that, I've got uh, my plastic bags and whatnot above it. And my refrigerator is just a whirlpool. I don't like French doors, so I didn't get them. Uh, drawer on the bottom. I like it. It works. I'm not showing the inside. And then this is my pantry. I need to step back to show it. Um, I just put the shelves in here, finished it up this morning. I still have to either put a door on this space or more likely uh, finish off the edges around the door and put up a curtain. Um, unfortunately, the framer in his infinite wisdom decided to give me a 24 inch door opening, which means I will need a custom door for this space. Um, and that's not something that's, uh, I need to do right away. I certainly don't need it for inspection. The cool thing is I managed to get my wine fridge and my wine rack down below here. So all my wine is together and in moving everything up, I discovered that I have way more wine than I thought I did, which is a good thing. Party. The other thing is I gave it a tall shelf over here. I haven't unpacked everything. I've also got a mixer and a food processor and I do need to get a blender and I'll be putting these things in on this shelf. They'll be easy for me to pull out, move to the countertop when I need them and then put them away when I don't. In my old house, I had a very large amount of counter space and all of the appliances were out. Um, in the beginning, I used them a lot. In the end, I didn't. Um, here, I don't know how much I'm going to use them, but I don't need to look at a mixer and a blender and a food processor on my countertop, so they'll be stored away in this closet. And then the pantry has plenty of room for food, things like that, and on the very, very top shelf, I'll be putting uh, alcohol and, and other things that I don't need to access all the time. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. What else do I need to say? All oh, the other lighting here is some track lighting uh, using little glass shades. It actually gives me a lot more light than you think it would. I do have additional light fixtures. I might pop a fifth one up there. I'm not sure yet. And I do need to probably adjust them where they point. But in other words, I have a lot of light here. One of the things about my place, if you haven't seen any videos or pictures, is that I have a really great view. And because of that, I have a lot of windows. And that lets a lot of light in during the day. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm fighting off a cold. The other thing I need to do here uh, to get done is I need to put in my window sills and that's throughout the place. And I also need to do the trim around the floor. Uh, the floor is Pergo and believe me, cutting those rounded edges over there under that shelf was not one of my easier things to do, but I managed to get it done on the first try. Two pieces needed to be cut, but I still do need to do the trim around the edges of the floor and that's again throughout the whole place. Um, I did do this closet because I don't want to have to move stuff out again. So the trim is going to pretty much look like that. I'm using one by four pieces of wood. I'm staining them with a custom color I came up with, don't ask. And uh, then I'm doing a urethane coat on top to protect the wood. Then when it all dries up, cutting it, putting it into place with uh, a nail gun that a friend loaned me. And on these shelves, I'll be finishing off the edge of these. Um, it's kind of ugly to look at the edge of this, but I found some white trim that will fit exactly over this and I'll be putting it on each shelf. And then I'll probably be using white paint over here just to cover this and to paint over the screw holes. It was really important when putting up these shelves to get the screws fastened into 
the studs behind the drywall and I needed to use my stud finder to find them and then get them there and because of that the studs aren't regular so for example on this particular side uh, you'll see that the studs are really close to the end whereas on this side they're in a little bit and that's kind of funky and I think a little bit of white paint over those screw holes will just hide that from view. So these are little finishing up things that I need to do. Um, they won't really impact the ability to get a certificate of occupancy. So I really need to stay focused on those things right now. Um, my main goal was getting the kitchen livable and I think I've succeeded with that. I can now basically cook anything I need in here, wash up anything I need need to. It's uh, quite a luxury after two years living in an RV almost the whole time. So I'm very excited about having the kitchen not only done but really looking good and being so incredibly usable and um, this is a major, major milestone for me just to be this far and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, more will come. Um, see you soon. Bye.